Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesser. My name is Junior. Today we're going to look into Mezco's 112 scale uh, Superman, the Recovery Suit Edition. So, this is part of my process of figuring out what I'm doing with Mezco and Mafex. So, this box is just a plain box. It's not like a tin can. Here's a side basically depicting the that part of the comic book here's what's included in the uh, in the box so that's pretty cool some posing and all that stuff and that's it let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on All right, um, these are, looks like thigh holsters, nicely painted. Looks like replacement boots. rifle gun that comes along with it again nicely painted a bit of washing going on underneath here pistol gun different kind of silvery gray coloring on the grip Looks to be a, an effect glass, but I don't see any. This wooden thing, I think this might be what holds the cape. This is one of the blast effects that you plug into the boots nicely translucent very simply simply painted actually it's not even painted it's just translucent plastic interesting eyepiece eyewear um, it's broken off So this is kind of like maybe what the, the Eradicator Superman was wearing. But I don't know why it's included as an accessory. This is probably another leg band. comes with a lot of hands honestly two four six eight ten and aside from the two that's currently on the figure and the one that's currently holding this head you put and as you can see they're all nicely painted it's not just plain cast plastic you can also see there are actual uh, lines going on in the hands I'm surprised to see this. For some reason, I was thinking it's a Brainiac head. I didn't realize it was going to be the Cyborg Superman's head. That is actually pretty cool. As you can see, this figure comes with four heads. 
which is kind of surprising um, if it's a comic accurate uh, silver suit, uh, black suit Superman. Uh, he was never really shown with a short haircut and uh, bearded face. Nicely done on the on the paint job. I don't think I could ever make a complaint on the paint job that Mezco does in their products. Uh, I've never been disappointed. Here's the one with the long hair and bearded stoic face. And this is me talking from a standpoint of uh, having had a bad experience with the 1989 Batman figure from Mezco, I know I'm gonna keep on referring to that because I'm I'm basically being uh, coming back from the low of that product and my experience with the company. So, um, in my experience, as long as as long as Mezco is producing a good enough figure where it doesn't necessitate me to contact their company for any kind of repairs or solutions then it's good because I've never had a breakage on any of their products and I currently have over a dozen of their products now even from the past ones And here's the one. This is the one that's the most common accurate because he has the long hair and clean shaven face. While we're here to close up, we might as well look at the suit. very nice skin tight. One of the improvements that I'm seeing in this newer Mezco uh, tailoring is this underneath the crotch where it's just really really tight to the crotch before it used to be really baggy one of the things I didn't like uh, of what Mezco is doing and then as you can see as the tailoring uh, basically ends underneath the ankle there's the uh, the foot over here so I'm assuming this foot is removable it is And we can see that the suit basically goes underneath the actual uh, foot. Let me put this aside. Let's, let's deal with the articulation. So if I'm going for comic accurate as depicted in the comics this is how I would have my Superman basically being shown so let's talk about articulation because of the long hair I'm not expecting much on looking up and you're really not getting anything from the neck however there is another neck joint underneath the body underneath the neck that's connecting to the main body so that should help a little bit on the articulation so with that It doesn't really it doesn't really do anything unfortunately maybe forward that's surprising okay so it's, it won't help us much because it's the next the hair is still gonna hit the back of the thing but it does allow a little bit but it's coming off of the peg on the top at this point see Yeah, and then looking down is a little bit better. Of course, it shouldn't have any problems side to side. It's really non intrusive the way they sculpted this part over here. And it moves very nicely. There's no. Um, resistance that's being offered by the cloth as you move the shoulders 
and there's no ratchet on this one it's just pure fiction really nice movement on that it doesn't bunch up so so the bunching up uh, on the shoulder looks pretty good too has the bicep rotation over here again there's no resistance that I'm feeling this cloth feels like a stretchable fabric double jointed on the elbows I could almost wish that this was the material they used on the 1989 Batman and then they put some the armor the fab uh, the rubber armor uh, on top of it it would have been so much better I just have no issues at all in terms of moving the the joints on this of course as you keep moving these joints the fabric will stretch but look at that um, and then it's basically have this um, bracer over here and abdomen the movement is coming from the waist and forward by that much and I don't think you'll be able to pull any more because the S shield the S shield is actually solid so it's not printed on so you can't really move it's all the movements coming from the waist the twist is like that much the leg the leg and thigh there's no drop down that I can feel on this so unfortunately that's as high as the leg will go and double jointed on the knees and, and I'm really stretching that out so, but it's it's good enough articulation over there and look at that fabric as it straightens out it literally straight, straightens out by itself there's no um, there's no uh, wrinkles at all that's interesting uh, there is a thigh twist nothing here so all the movements coming there and it's kind of hard to twist the ankle because of um, the fabric actually I really don't feel a lot of twisting on the ankle so let's replace this So I think these are the jet boots that he needed um, to fly. And then this just plugs in.
so this would be uh, a comic accurate look of how the uh, black suit Superman looked like as he was preparing to meet the cyborg Superman I'm gonna take off this just so we can see the silhouette of the figure removing or replacing these fists they, they feel pretty good um, it doesn't feel as if the um, joint or the peg over here on the wrist uh, is, is in danger of um, snapping the hands themselves are soft Yeah, it plugs in really nice. Almost no resistance. Even here, it's it plugs in really nice too. Um, again, no resistance, but almost too easily because it tends to come off too easy when you're moving the head. But I kind of like it. Notice how easy it is and completely at ease replacing the hands. That's really good. These heads, although they look good, since they're not really accurate, I mean it's been a long time since I read the comic book, I don't really recall him coming out of the uh, chamber, the matrix chamber with um, a beard. The cool thing is, the peg. each head has their own peg joint. this is even looser than the other one like almost yeah that's way too loose at least this one requires force this one's a little bit better that's way too loose that's this one too yeah I'm not I'm not too happy about that but I'm okay um, so any ones of the bearded ones they just don't fit but I suppose it, it, it'd be nice it's a nice um, look for it this is really loose this one is more towards the later version this is not from the reign of Superman of the return of Superman this is more like when um, they were resurrecting Superman from the prime world uh, returning or taking over from the Earth 52 Superman where he's wearing a black suit and with a beard and short hair but I, I see this character more from the reign of Superman storyline so this is how I'm gonna have him displayed uh, again he's able to put his hands close enough to the body but not completely to, uh, close to the body This gun also keeps falling out, so that's disappointing.
The stand is um, glossy surface, but then a, a more textured surface here in the S. Interesting. The usual Mesco stand. I've I've always liked these. Very sturdy. I've never had one become loose over time. I've never really used this too much though. And like I said, with Mesco, all the Mesco I have, they're kind of in a box somewhere. Um, I I don't even display them. Um, even though they were the Mescos that I've had, they're from the very very first releases because I was the very first one of the very first proponents of Mayfax uh, Mesco when they're being introduced. So I have uh, their early, really early uh, figures. And the she uh, the cape Superman that comes in here. I guess you just have to figure out how you want to display this. Maybe put it in a couple of holes or something. Like something like that. I don't know. Then this plugs in here. Uh, it's an interesting gimmick, but um, I don't know about that. Is it worth uh, $95? Well, I can't really say that. I can't really answer that right now. I did purchase it. I can't answer if Mesco is worth it. Um, it comes with a, a, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, what I can say is that I can't think of any other accessories that wasn't included in this uh, product. I mean, in fact, I, I would even say it's got way too many accessories. It's nice that they included this replacement boots because after he, he finished flying, he, he was basically being shown with the black feet and everything. Um, Comparatively to other regular Mezco products, I think at $95, they kind of missed on this, mostly because of the faces. If this is from the reign of Superman, and which it likely is because the design here, here, this one, this is all from the comic book. He never had a beard in any of the comic books. So if you're going to do that, why would you concentrate 75% of the of the faces that you offered as a bearded representation which never occurred in the comics so if you're going to do that then at least do it half and a half you know um, so this is more of I would have liked this is stoic this is regular one should have been a non bearded screaming face one should have been a non-bearded gritting face and then leave this if you're trying to get into the um the to represent a uh, superman when he was wearing a black suit that was after the new 52 superman if you're going to do that then just leave this this and this was a near miss and that's why i think the value of the the piece goes down the looseness of the peg on the neck that also brings it down anything other than that I'm amazed at the quality of the fabric of the suit I'm amazed at how well the joints work I'm very happy with the uh, improvement they have on the crotch uh, it no longer looks ba baggy so they 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 did that very well that's I, I call it as an improvement I really like this accessory 
seeing the cyborg superman's head in his hands that's really good um i'm not sure about this accessory it's just like maybe if they had had like two holes here that you that you accommodate onto this one like maybe if this thing split and then you can plug it in maybe but even this feels too short it should have been taller so that's kind of a miss for me i'm gonna say for now it's an okay release because we don't have anything else out of the reign of superman collection aside from the man of steel which i'm going to review next if this had been released after a superboy mezco after a cyborg superman mezco after a steel mezco after an eradicator mezco then then maybe it would have been cool finish off the collection but to start off this line with this figure i i, I think that was a mistake um i think the heads are a mistake so it's it's okay to get it just to complete the collection of the reign of superman which we're hoping might come from mesco um but if it doesn't then you're kind of like uh, you're you know why start it off here is that making sense but that's how i feel about it um i'm i'm happy that i got it i'll be more happier once we get more from this uh line um so obviously I'm kind of committed to this particular line of the Mesco. It's a Superman character, so I'm kind of like, yeah, you got me already. So anyway, that's it for my review for the Mesco 112 scale um, Superman Returns from with the black suit Superman from Mesco. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.